Hi, everyone. Welcome to the live virtual U Picasso art program at the. Hello. I love the splotches. I love the blobs. I love the smudges. You can use today whatever you have, whatever. So if you have paints, wake up your paint. You do it in this way, a little bit of water in any color, just use one color. I think I stay with red today. It's my red day. And make a splotch, something like this. You can even add your finger and just make a, a little bit of mess. You can add something and you have one shape. And then with a bit of paint left, you can make another shape. You can make something like this <clears throat> and something like that, whatever. It, you don't follow me. And it's better to use dry brush, kind of dry. And once again, as Daryl said, I'm recording and probably you, you are aware of this, but you're not being recorded. However, if you talk, this will be recorded. Okay, so I created these two things. Yes, make it like that or whatever, or like this. Can someone give me a cup of water? Please? Try another shape with soft pastel. And by the way, I brought the pastels with me today and I didn't check them. And I see this should be oily pastels, but they are not the best for this job. So I didn't check my materials and this is too bad because I'm not working in my studio today. That's the problem. I'm using soft pastels in this case, because as I said, we can use whatever we want and I go for a different color. Maybe I go for orange and I make another shape. And another shape. Make any shapes you want. And I have a lot of remnants, so it's going to the floor. And that's what I have here. And maybe one more in a different color. And I go like this. And I'm dirty already. That's the fun. This is better because you can see better. And one more shape with this color, something like this. And I'm going to make a mess with my finger. So it'll be completely dirty, but it's okay. That's what I have. So I have painted shape. I have kind of drawn shape and I have dirty hands. So make few shapes like this with any material you want. And when you're ready, let me know. And Adam, I have a question. If you could take care of Albert and explain to him, it doesn't have to be perfect. Manana, I see what you're doing. That's great. Is everyone done? And look what we're going to do. You see, I started with these shapes and I added legs, arms, and hats and you can use any tool you want you can use paints but i decided to go with sharpie marker 
So are we ready to play? Are, we, are you ready to play with people? Let's start with the painted thing. Here we go. I'm not so sure if I want to use it like this, or maybe I will use it like that. I'm just thinking what will be the best way, or maybe something like this. But, well, in the beginning, I go like that. Maybe I'm thinking. Okay, so I will start with legs. One leg, another leg, then arm, or maybe the head. So let's say the head is like here and it's slanted. Okay, and maybe one arm goes like this and another arm goes like that. But don't you think that nobody has such thin legs? So maybe I will add something. And my leg is slightly wider, right? And I don't worry about proportions. Excuse oh. me. Now watch. I'm adding feet leg is a little wider on the top and less at the bottom excuse me yes or you can do like this can you show and us it can stamp it and it yes can of course whatever you like same with arms. And my person has this flowing hair. And I can play with her dress a little bit. You see there is such shape here, so I can change it into sleeve. I can add some funny stuff at the bottom and I have my first shape. And I have a question. When you finish your first shape, could you show it to me? Because I'm going to change, I'm going to stop the recording and I continue the recording. Next shape. What if I use two painted shapes and what I want to add to this, and I'm going to remove my pastels because we don't need them any longer. I want these people to move and dance. And I show you something else what I created. You see these dancers? I want them to create something crazy, like crazy dance. So one head slightly slanted and this person's head is slanted as well. And I want them to them to dance together. So maybe they holding hands when the other hand goes like that and like this. And then one leg and another goes like this. And remember that it's very hard to bend the knee inside. Think how we are bending our knees. And this person, well, this one goes like that. And then I'm going to add width. For the legs.
and don't worry about the hands. And by the way, it's very easy to draw a hand if we do something like this. All four fingers and here comes the thumb. And these are dancing together. Here's the finger and the thumb. And we do it this in a very simplified way. And look, she's dancing like that. And her hair is following her movement. And this one goes like that. And if we want to show their faces, we can do dot, 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 dot. We can make little cheeks if we want. And we're not going to add too much details. And that's it. You can add mouth and mouth will be just a dot because we don't want too much attention uh, to their faces. We want to show the movement. So if you have two, two, two shapes that are close to each other, maybe you connect them to dancers. Excuse me. Yes. Or like this, that, you can make this when when they're doing like this. Absolutely. Watch. This is the person. And she does exactly what you wanted to do. Yeah. She's going to ex extend the arm with. And remember, when you are drawing hands, the thumb is always inside, closer to the body, right? And she has kind of, I don't know, looks like overall a little bit to me. So one and another one, and we have feet as well. And she's not jumping. So we are going her hair Seneca style. Uh, Seneca is in a very tiny picture, so I don't know her haircut right now, but it was it was like it was like this uh quite a while. Now she has now I look, oh, different hairstyle. So if this one is next, she or he wants to hold the hands together. So it goes like that. And maybe like this. And this person is behind that. So you see the leg is behind this person's leg. So this one is standing maybe and this person is looking at her friend because you see the nose here, right? So we can change any smudge into something. What if we want to make few dancers? Can you grab whatever, any drawing tool, and can you make like three shapes? And I'm going to make them very, very quickly with, with the marker. So look, it's one shape. I'm not even thinking what I'm doing. I'm just smudging. Here you go. And if I would use past pastels, 
would be probably more interesting, but I stay with that. So if you can connect, if you can make three shapes and, I, and if you can make them very close to each other, if it's possible, it will be great. Um, Miss Jinga? Yes? Or you can make it, or you can make it like this. Can I see? Yes, absolutely. But Seneca, I want you to make, this is beautiful. I want you to make three shapes in the middle of the page. Can you do this? Three, like sitting there, you go sideways. And now watch. Are you done with three shapes? That's too big. Too big. Because now, whatever you have, you can use dry brush, you can use marker, you can use crayon, whatever you have. Whatever. Everything is good. So let's start from the hands. I want them to hold hands. So let's do it this way. And you see what I'm using? I'm using very wide markers. So I have my width already. So they holding hands and they moving hands up just like Manana was doing. I think it was Manana or Gabriella. I do not remember well. So look, they holding hands up together however one person is doing this because she can done i want a little bit of movement with the head because when you're dancing your head is not always straight right sometimes it's slanted so this head will be slanted to the right this head will be slanted also to the right when this one to the left and i want them to bend their knees so this one will go like this no texture huh and like that and remember the leg is always wider at the top part here the calf is very wide but we we don't worry about that it's not so important this person has very long legs goes like this and like that and short skirt when this one, hmm, this one is doing something like this. I don't know if she can see us. Her feet can't see her. Feet can't see her. There. This looks Molly Wakeless from Spencer with the container. So we have three dancers, but I want every single dancer to show his or her knees. It's really, really important. Show the knees. I'm trying to tell you that you can make something, something with every shape. So another one, look here. I'm thinking when I look at this, for me, this might be, look what I did. It looks like this. This is the edge of pants. And this is another leg. And this person, this person is running from my page, look, 
this person has pants and I use this shape like that. You see, this is one of his or her legs. I know that that's that's a type of answer she so can't you use. can you can you her. can use your that's shape. Look. Look, wait, just look. And this shape is showing only part of the person. What about this? Hmm. I'm just wondering. Hmm. Maybe this is. You see, I'm not showing everything. I cut his head because this is the end of the page or her head. This is the body. And I don't have to show everything. And this is another person here. Holding maybe her mom. And I'm showing only part of the picture because that's the entire picture that I have. So you don't have to show the entire person. What else can I do? Well, I have this. What if I change it? And I do something with this shape. Do you have shape like this? That is very, very tall. What if I change it and I put it like this? And well, look what I can have. I have a question. Are there any people here in this group who are good in dancing? Because I'm a terrible dancer and I know this. But what if we show ballerina and use this shape as her skirt? What would you do with this? I could use this as well. So maybe, maybe I add some color. And I make something like this. And I create jumping ballerina. If I want to show that she's jumping, I'm going to show the floor. So you can see she's above the floor and I can add something like this. So we know she jumps. We're not drawing perfect legs, perfect feet, etc. We are focusing on shape. I have a little scrap paper here, yellow one. I use my red paint because it gives me a lot of contrast. And I'm making something very, very tiny. because you don't have to make big things. And I'm thinking, why don't you make 
little tiny gifts. Let's say for your grandma, maybe for a friend of yours. For this, I'm going to take one piece of paper. I will fold it in a half. I will fold it in a half. And look what I can do. Four pieces. It's easy practice and maybe some of them will be good enough to cut it out and put this into the letter. Uh, and I think it would be fun even for adults. So look, and good for practicing. So this is, if you could do this, would be great. So I have two shapes here. Here, I have shapes that are like that. Here, maybe three. One, two, three. And here, just one. So I have my shapes and I want to know if you were able to do the same. You can take your scissors and cut these shapes, actually these four pieces. You can use crayon, you can use whatever you want. I'm staying with the uh, black marker because I think and uh, this is the best for me. You Excuse me. Yes. I made, I made some of uh, their are girls, some of their boys, and some of their babies. Manana, that's great. That's great. It's really great. Mine a little bit dripping. So I have to. Oh, so no, so don't don't hold it up. And now watch what I'm going to do. I'm taking my first shape and actually two shapes. And I'm thinking this way or that way. And I think maybe this way. I don't know really. I don't even know what to do with them, but I try my best. So these are the dancers, but hmm, maybe that way. Okay, so this looks like funny draped dress. So this is my person. The head comes here. And they're dancing together. So I am drawing them at the same time. And uh, hmm. This is her leg, and this is her leg. And I don't even worry about her feet. And her arm goes like this, when the other arm goes up. So this is one person. With, an, with the other one, I have problem. I don't know how to do it. Hmm. Maybe one arm will go like this. When the other arm will go like that. And it's kind of funny dress, but And the hair will follow the direction of the head. And this person has very short hair. So this is my one card. Could be better, but I'm practicing. So it's okay. Another one. I want them to dance together. That's for sure. So I start with the heads. One goes like that. One goes like that, 
why it is because this person is wearing skirt so this is mini dress And this one is also wearing skirt. Hmm. And that's what I did here. This person is doing something like this. It's a crazy dance. It's all it's almost aerobic, something like this. And this one, hmm. I want you to do impossible movement. Create something what you think it's impossible to do. So I think this one. Does something like that. And I'm going to give this one a skirt. And to lose the lines of the legs, I'm going to do lines only. to make something totally crazy, impossible movement. So this one hmm. jumps. And we can show that her skirt is just, dress is just flowing. And we're going to add red so we can show it's one, it's, it's at the dress. And her hair is just flying around. You can do whatever you want. You can change any shape to whatever you want and I, I would love to see what you are doing so I'm going to stop the recording and if you could show it to me it would be wonderful paint your shape and smudged pastels are probably the best because you have this beautiful color and I'm going to repeat it again. And my paint is probably too intense right now. Look, I can add the movement with the brush. And now, if you know how to do it, think that you can, you can, you can, you can have not necessarily the the, the the accident only you can you can steer it somehow so look i have the person i have the hair and i don't have to show everything i'm just showing the dancer it doesn't have to be entire dancer and i can add more paints and this is it or I can add paints here, more color, and then I play here. Here she is. Somehow the direction of the brush 
is asking to follow with the uh, with the line and and I have a dancer and I have dancer here as well and you know I'm drawing girls I really should draw boys but somehow it's asking but you can you can do whatever you want with these shapes. What else I can do? Hmm. I can tear a piece of paper. I can glue it to color paper. I really should cut it nicely, right? This is my card. I'm tearing my paper. I can use scissors if I want to have one sharp edge, but not everything has to be sharp, right? And now I can play. One arm, another arm, head, leg, leg, Neck. I love happy accidents. Basically, it should be fun and no one should tell you what to do because you figure it out by yourself. But uh, art should be fun. Art should be about fun. This is, this is your person and this is the body, right? Look where your arm is attached to your body. Look at this. Where is it attached? Is it attached here? Oh, it is attached here. When you attaching the arm, it always goes from the top. So remember, here is the place where you attach the arm. And we have the legs right here right once again when you have your people and you have your little stick figures right arms are going from the top that's where they start goes like this it goes like that always from the top. Will you remember? Sit, but always remember, arms are not growing from the waist, they always go from the top. Then you're perfect. Then word belongs to you. You know what to do. So, my little stick figure, head, arms, on the top, on the top, always and legs here always from the top of the body Thank you guys so much for coming out and coming to our live virtual yupikaka program um we have another one next week monday the 8th from 3 30 until 4 30. i will send out the emails to everyone i will send everyone the links as i always do every week and our last one will be on the 15th of uh november so yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys next week, okay? Good Bye, morning, guys. everyone. I think you are really, really good, all of you. Aren't they great? They're wonderful. They're doing a I great job. So. Thank you so much, everyone. Oh, it's Seneca. Thank you, Kinga. Going. That's great. That you, looks beautiful, Seneca. You guys are so good. I'm not showing you. I cannot. But... Look, at, look at my three dancers. Terrific, Manana. They really dancing. Show the movement and see you next Monday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Bye, you. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Kingo. Bye. Good job, Gabby. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.